Hey everybody, there's this thing called the speech jammer. This is something I saw read in link use a while back. I thought it was really cool. I was like, oh, I want to try that. I didn't realize there were so many apps at the time, so I, I'm only just now trying it out. Now, I thought I would make a video series using the speech jammer where I talk about subjects that are made be slightly more serious and this will kind of take off the edge a little bit for people that just like laughing at me. So to start with I'll talk about something that's been on my mind and on my waist. <laughs> Let me tell you first of all that this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. Any of you have been watching me since I started making videos back in 2006. So that means you have seen me go through many changes, physically and mentally. One physical change that I go through a lot that people love pointing out is my weight. People will point out if I'm gaining weight or if I'm losing weight. For the most part, I avoid showing my body because I am hugely insecure about my weight. But right now, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know if I've ever gained the, or weighed this much before. Some of you may remember a video I made over a year ago about losing weight and how I was really working on it. I was. I was working out. I was watching my eat, eat, watching what I was eating <laughs> and I was actually doing pretty all right. I was losing some weight but then the thing happened. My knee dislocated completely and I couldn't work for months and I couldn't even move without my knee just going <laughs> that was very tough but the thing about me when I get stressed I eat and this results in me gaining weight which results in me to be depressed about my weight which leads to me eating more and then getting weight and then getting stressed about my weight and it's just an endless cycle. I've also been scared to work out. I have such a huge anxiety about my knees. Now, if you watch my daily vlogs at youtube.com slash Bowie Chicken Nuggets, link below, then you know I also dislocated my other knee recently. Not nearly as badly, it was a partial dislocation. Back to my insecurity about showing or about my fatness in relation to YouTube videos. I often make my videos just showing like this part of my body for a reason. I don't want to show what any of my stomach get. I go out of my way to frame a video to not show my fat as much as possible. I have that that's angle to hide my double chin. I recently did the scavenger hunt video and I have not finished editing it only because of one shot that shows my entire body. I'm so uncomfortable with this. I'm going to quickly do something that is like a huge anxiety for me and that is standing up specifically to show off how fat I am. This makes me really uncomfortable, but I feel like it's necessary to make my point or to get past a fear or something. This is my stomach. This is my stomach. Oh my god. I get rolls everywhere. I'm fat. If I go like this. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. 
and I'm trying to get past my anxiety and fears of showing my body because it just restricts the videos I want to make. I mean, that video that I haven't even finished editing yet is a good example of that. I don't know where I was going with this. Now, for, for my own sake, I obviously want to get in shape and lose weight because my knees are suffering from it, but I know that's just the beginning. But at the same time, I want to be comfortable in the body that I'm currently in so that I just don't end up more depressed and bigger and then that I in this cycle. I hope you got some sort of enjoyment out of this. So just leave a comment below saying what kind of more serious subject you'd like to hear me talk about in this speech jammer series. Remember to hit like, favorite, share, subscribe if you aren't. Remember to go to my daily vlogging channel, youtube.com slash Chicken Nuggets and subscribe to that. See you guys next time. Love you, you.